In one of New Mexico's rural corners, the race to replace a titan of the New Mexico budget process has also become one of the most expensive political races in the state. News 13's Chris McKee is here to explain. A Democrat Naomi Martinez Para is facing Republican challenger Crystal Diamond. Both candidates have raised around $100,000 each to replace longtime moderate Democrat John Arthur Smith. And I'm here to, to carry that message on. I'm up for the fight. Um, I'm, I'm confident that I reflect the values of rural New Mexico. This is my home. The voters are speaking up and they want change. We need change. We need to survive out here, so we have to stand up. We have to speak up. And Martinez Pata there, according to state campaign finance data, has raised about $95,000 for her campaign. Compare that to Diamond's listed $111,000 raised so far. What's at stake is the rural southwest New Mexico Senate seat that John Arthur Smith held for 32 years. Smith often rubbed against his Democratic Party over big issues like how to fund early childhood education, repealing New Mexico's unenforced abortion ban from the 60s, and the possible marijuana legalization effort. In interviews today, Diamond positioned herself in part as carrying on Smith's beliefs, while Martinez Pata feels the district covering Hidalgo, Luna, Sierra, and parts of Doniana counties has been left behind by Smith's opposition to key party backed issues. Tapping into the permanent fund for early education, for elementary, for early childhood education, and taking care of our kids. So that's a big one for me. Tapping into New Mexico's savings account is certainly a irresponsible thing for us to do fiscally and almost stand in, in, a, in support of, of keeping that locked down. Now on the topic of marijuana, Diamond says she doesn't support recreational legalization, but supports law around medical marijuana use. Martinez Parra, on the other hand, supports legal recreational marijuana, but says that any potential law needs to protect kids. Back to you. All right, thank you, Chris. Including John Arthur Smith, five key moderate Democrats were defeated in the primary election. Republicans need six seats in the state Senate to take control.